Well, well, well. It's a very special time, guys, gals, and all my pals. Do you know what that time is? That's right, it's the holiday season. Which means it's time to watch a very special holiday movie, Spider-Man. Wait. Huh? I guess we were reviewing Spider-Man. As many of you know, I love Spider-Man. He's probably my favorite superhero and one of my favorite fictional characters of all time. I love so many things about him, and one of those is his movies, most of his movies. So, with a new release of the very anticipated Spider-Man No Way Home out, I figured I'd rank every theatrically released Spidey flick. Except Venom and Venom 2, I haven't seen those yet. So now, it's time for Spooter Jai's Spectacular Spider-Man Smoothies Seranking. Before we continue, this video is sponsored by the Mets, baby! Love the Mets! Alright, baby, let's go get a home run, baby! Love the Mets, let's go Mets! Number... Peter. The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Sorry, guys. Uncle Spooter lied to you. This movie's not terrible. But it's not that great, either. The villains still aren't that good. Harry's a bit too goofy for my liking. And this is coming from a Sam Raimi fan. It's really dumb how the movie expects us to believe that he and Peter had this whole relationship, yet Peter barely even knew what Oscorp was back in The Amazing Spider-Man. That's kind of su- wait. No, I'm not saying that. Not say YouTube. You can't make me. You can't make- Anyways, the good stuff. I really like Peter and Gwen's relationship. Emma and Andrew really do have some great chemistry with each other. And the action's cool too. Yeah. 2.5 out of 5 is alright. Number... Spider-Man 3. Surprise, surprise. Here's another Spider-Man movie that's somewhat unfairly hated. It doesn't need to be. Yeah, it's corny. But I mean, come on. They're all corny. But I love them. Spider-Man 3 is a fun time. Sure, it's crowded, but that's not the movie's fault. And now... Here's me, Bully Maguire Fied. E. Yeah. 3 out of 5. Number. Tony Stark! Spider Man Far From Home. Fun fact when I went to go see this movie with my best friend, our tickets just said Spider Man Far. So we put a T at the end and called the movie Spider Man Fart. This movie is not bad. It's just not as good as some others. I feel like some of the comedy could be toned down a bit more, especially since this is a aftermath of a pretty big event. 3.5 out of 5. Number Poor Peter Parker. The Amazing Spider Man. Plot twist Andrew Garfield might be my favorite live action Spider Man. Notice how I said favorite live action Spider Man. His movies may not be my favorites, but Andrew is still really charming. He portrays the struggle of a teenager really well. The movie is really good too in its realistic aspect, for the most part, and I love how Spider-Man feels very neighborhood-like, and how he doesn't just become Spider-Man after Uncle Ben dies. And once again, the chemistry between Peter and Gwen is great. So yeah, pretty good movie. Probably give it a 4 out of 5. Number... Scientist. Spider-Man. The first Spidey flick is a very good watch. It's very simple, but I think it works in that way. It's just a simple story of a young man learning to be a hero while falling in love and dealing with an evil supervillain. It's campy, but lovable too. Also, I don't know if this is just me, but I love the scene where the New Yorkers throw stuff at Green Goblin. It's so goofy, but yet so wholesome due to how much New York has been established. That's one thing I think the Raimi movies have over some other superhero movies, alongside some others like the Dark Knight trilogy, and even My Hero Academia, Heroes Rising. They make you feel connected to the world they live in, and make you really want to see the heroes save the day, because you don't want these citizens to die or get hurt, even if they are just unnamed background characters. Overall, this movie was a great introduction to the character and world of Spider-Man. 
So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 4.5 out of 5. Number... Lego Death Star. Spider-Man Homecoming. Yeah, I put Iron Boy Jr. Origins over Toby Man Origins. Go dislike below. Oh, wait. Hmm. But yeah, jokes aside, this is a really fun movie, while also being really heartfelt as well. It's cool to see how this version of Spider-Man interacts with the Marvel Universe, and how he tries to live up to the expectations of those who came before him. Oh, and the Amazing Spider-Man number 33 reference they made? So good. 4.5 out of 5. Number... Peter. Spider-Man No Way Home. Sorry guys, while this movie is still good, like, really good. It's still not the best one. There are some things I do keep it back, like how it still feels like a normal MCU film, for the most part, and some of the characters could be a bit more developed, like Sandman or Lizard. But overall, this is a very fun watch, and I cried like maybe two or three times in the theater, especially when Andrew saved MJ. He needed that. And not just that, too, but so many other great moments I can mention. Overall, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. Almost perfect, but not quite there yet. Number... Spider-Man 2. Here's a fun fact for all of you at home. This is my favorite movie from the year I was born, which is why I get to consider it my birthday movie. Trademark Spear Jai. But that's not the only reason why I love it. This is not just a great superhero film, just a great movie overall. Sam Raimi captures the struggle of Spider-Man so well that it makes you question whether being Spider-Man is really as great as it seems. The film is also very inspiring too, showing how even when we hit our lowest points, we can always rise again. Also, my favorite part in this movie is not the train fight, but what is it? Well, I'll let you try and figure that out in the comments below. I'll pin you if you're right. Overall, I'm gonna give this movie a score of 5 out of 5, baby. And coming in at number 1, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I mean, how could it not be? This movie is just such a masterpiece that it actually kind of shocks me. Like, legit. Sometimes I just refuse to believe it exists because I'm just so proud of Sony, Phil Lord, Christopher Miller, and the rest of the team behind this masterpiece for creating this movie. I know I said masterpiece twice already. That's really what this is, a masterpiece. The characters, the story, the emotion, just almost every part of it is just so perfect. It's one of the few movies to have a perfect 25 out of 25 my rating scale, which, a little sidetrack here, I actually rate my movies off of a little 25 scale where I give each movie five different categories with five maximum points and then I add them together, so yeah. So yeah, I think Masterpiece is a fitting name for this movie. 5 out of 5, go watch it if you haven't seen it. Well, we did it, ladies and gents. We ranked the movies. Now let me sleep. Also, Josh Keaton is my favorite Spider-Man.